While I'm here at the factory, I wanted to get a foundation of the Moton brand, how it started, where it's going now, and kind of how everything began, so all of you can learn about the Moton brand and kind of decide on the dampers that would be right for you. Started off with uh, Cody Motorsport. Uh, in the 50s, they uh, worked with uh, for the Formula One. Uh, they made dampers there. And then in 1999, they kind of stopped doing their motorsport program. And then all the people that worked there, they just went off and do their own stuff. And in this case, Motime was founded then in 1999 because one of the employees stopped at Kony and he started up with the Moton suspension brand. Yeah, so I think in the first couple of years too, they immediately started working with some of the pro teams like Snitzer for BMW Motorsport and the LMR car. Yeah. So in 99 at Le Mans, that car was the winning car, won overall at Le Mans in 99 <clears throat> with the Moton damper. So that was kind of a big first couple of years for the company. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They worked with uh, with a lot of pro teams there. And then in 2011, AST acquired the brand. They took all the technology, all the information of the historical race cars, but also all the information about the fitment and everything. So the whole company was actually moved over to the AST uh, headquarters. So uh, originally in 99, Moton was a damper company. They Correct. supplied dampers to race teams and then the race team would figure out, okay, these are the springs we need to make, these are the mounts we need to make for the car this is how we're going to mount it in the car yeah so normally if you work with moton like from basically 99 to 2011 when it was acquired by ast the teams would receive moton dampers and they were normally external reservoir dampers yeah and then the team would work with the guys at moton to basically figure out what rates they were running the setup yeah. that they needed and that's what was supplied so a lot of the teams during that time like they worked with chevrolet for pratt and miller for the c5r so all the original c5r cars ran Moton dampers. Also the S7Rs, which are the famous Celine, Celine. Uh, crazy race cars. Those also ran Moton dampers. And then also at the time, like 993 and 996s homologated from Porsche Motorsport were on Moton dampers. The factory would supply the dampers, Porsche would go ahead and put everything together with the springs and the mounts. That's a really cool foundation for, for Moton, and that's just to name a few. There's also some ProDrive 575 Maranello Ferraris that ran. There's a lot of really neat cars that Moton worked with. And the cool thing is, is over there in the factory with all the books, we have all that data. I was looking at all the BMW specific data, like all of the Turner Motorsport, all of the E46 GTRs that ran the V8 motors, all the ones that ran the, the, the six cylinder motors, all those ran Moton dampers. And that's kind of the foundation of Moton, the Moton brand. Yeah, well, all the information is still here. So that's super cool. But the thing is when we received the brand, when we received all the technology here, we saw that the brand was sort of incomplete or at least the dampers were incomplete because like you explained, all the teams would do their own top mounts. They would do their own fitment. They would do their own springs. Here at AST, we were kind of surprised by that because we wanted to make a complete kit. We wanted to make sure that everybody that receives the kit is able to just plug and play it into the car. So we decided to get the information from AST just about the fitments of the top mounts for example and add it to the brand of Moton. From that moment on we have a plug and play solution for all that customers. So basically providing the complete kit, the complete solution like what's in front of us. Like, this is a classic Porsche yep. setup. So what normally would happen we would get the only the spindle here and the old Moton would just sell the complete strut without the top mount without the springs. But now if you order either a one-way, two-way, three-way or a four-way you receive it including the top mounts to make sure you can actually fit it on the car directly. And the top mount is a really integral part in making a complete suspension system because if you affect 100%. the performance of the damper so we felt like we don't want to give the dampers out and have people figure it out. We wanted to provide a complete solution no. easy to sell, easy for people to install as a good setup for their car as a good baseline. Yeah, so the development that was done here in house to make sure that the dimensions and everything fitted and that everything was correct to make a workable damper for all those cars. So with that in mind, Kuhn, like what's the current offering for Moton? What's yeah. the lines that are available now? So there used to be only a two-way, three-way and a four-way. But a couple years ago, we decided to bring out the one-way because we had a lot of people running race championships, but they weren't allowed to run a two-way or a three-way. So we decided- but Because to... of external reservoir. Yeah. They weren't allowed to run an external reservoir canister, Correct. which is separated from the damper, which is an advantage because it adds more fluid. It adds more room for the damper to move. And more adjustability. And more yeah. adjustment. So this is a one-way here. And this is actually the G80, right? G80, G80 correct. Three. Yeah. So this is a one-way Moton damper 
with a complete top mount, everything, this is exactly how you would receive it. Yeah. Cool feature of the one way is that if you're into a new race championship or you're getting better, you want to upgrade your suspension to a two way, you can actually upgrade this suspension from one way to a two or three way. Yeah. And I think the right here, the hose goes right in. Yeah. So you literally have the same damper. We you send it in, we'll go ahead and add the line, which is here, right here with yeah. the can, they'll get a revalve. Then now you have a two, a three, yeah. or maybe even a four. Maybe a four way. Yeah. yeah. So everything is upgradable as well. So you go from a one way, which is rebound adjustable and height adjustable. You go to a two way, what is rebound, uh, compression and height adjustable. Then you go to uh, to a three way, which is height adjustable, rebound, and uh, high and low speed of compression. And then if we, if we manufacture the four way, it's going to be height adjustable, compression, high speed, low speed, and the rebound, uh, high speed, low speed. Yeah, and some of the three and four way dampers are really advanced pieces of equipment that we normally try to sell to very experienced. Uh, yep, teams, great. guys with suspension engineers on staff. So can you tell me what makes this Moton damper unique? What's identifying to you to make it a Moton? Well, as you can see, it's a non-inverted system. It has a 22 millimeter shaft and a 44 millimeter piston that is actually very good in, in moving the oil flow through this whole system. So it's a it's a powerful damper. So what does that mean for people what, when they're running a damper? Of they can stuff? run a, a lighter spring rate because the damper has more load to carry the car. It's also tunable in, in uh, pressure on the canister. It starts off with 15 bar of pressure and you can play with that. You can make it a little bit more stiffer by adding more pressure into the canister or lower it if you're like on a super bumpy track or with rain even. What's also cool is that the Moton suspension is really an endurance race damper. It's non-inverted so it has less uh, maintenance and you can easily run a 24 hour race with it without surfacing. And that's really the foundation back to the 90s and early 2000s with how Moton started at Le Mans, yeah. which is a 24 hour, the 24 hour race for endurance. Yeah, and I think that's that's also one of the reasons why it's still the preferred choice to a lot of teams that are currently using our stuff. And I'm talking about Classic Le Mans, I'm, I'm talking about 24 hour Nürburgring, Pikes Peak. We do all the 24 hour racing still with our system and people are all are super excited about it. We're also working with some homologation to try to get back into some of the GT3 and yeah. GTLM racing currently. There's also EV development that we're working on. We just had contact with a really neat uh, GT2 team yeah. this week that wanted to race Classic, Classic Le, Mans. Le Mans. They're doing three cars and they want the damper as they raced yep. back in 04 with the GT2. Yeah, and since so. we have all that information still, we can provide them with the exact settings they run like almost 20 years ago. That's a really neat plus with Moton is it has the history and the pedigree, especially in Porsche and BMW. Like BMW. Also Ferrari, we were at Monterey and they had the ProDrive 575 race cars yeah. there. And those were all on Moton dampers. And then I came here, found the book, found the Ferrari page, yeah. found the exact dampers with the graph. So uh, it's a really cool history. It's a really cool tie back and makes Moton a really special brand. All right, so that sort of wraps up the history and foundation of the Moton brand and also where it's going in the near future. If you guys have any questions, please reach out and stay tuned for more.